Hi everybody! Today I'm going to read you another one of my favourites, one of Katie Morag's Island Stories. And the book we're going to read today is called Katie Morag and the Two Grandmothers. One sunny Wednesday morning, Mrs McCall woke up Katie Morag early. Hurry up now, she said, drawing back the curtains. Here comes the boat. Grandma Mainland will be here soon and you've still got this room to tidy for her. Grandma Mainland lived far away in the big city. She was coming to stay with them for a holiday. Gosh, it is rather a mess, isn't it? Katie Morag's got lots to do. Katie Morag went with her other grandmother, Granny Island, who lived just across the bay, to meet the boat. My, you're a still a smart wee Bobby Dazzler, said Naily Bag, as he helped Grandma Mainland down. Granny Island revved the engine very loudly. Broom, broom, broom. Ooh, look, there's Grandma Mainland. Doesn't she look fancy and pretty? Katie Morag watched, fascinated, as Grandma Mainland unpacked. Do you like this new hat I bought for show day, Katie Morag? Grandma Mainland asked. Oh, her and her fancy ways, muttered Granny Island to herself. Look, can you see Granny Island through the mirror? She's looking a bit grumpy, isn't she? Show day was always a big event on the Isle of Struay. At the post office, Mrs. D and Mrs. McCall were rushed off their feet. Look where you're going, shouted Mrs. McCall as Katie Morag tripped over baby Liam. Katie Morag, I think you would be better off helping Granny Island get Alicina ready for the show, sighed Mr. McCall. Alicina was Granny Island's prize sheep. She had won Best You and Fleece Trophy for the past seven years. But she was getting old and everyone said that Nayley Beg's April Love would win it this year. Katie Morag ran as fast as she could past the show field where frantic last minute preparations were in progress and on to Granny Islands in order to give Alicina an extra special brush and comb before the judging started. But when Katie Morag arrived at Granny Islands, Alicina was up to, in her, up to her horns in a boggy lock. Oh no. A whole hillside to eat and she wants that blade of grass, cried Granny Island in a fury. Oh look, she does look furious. Can you see her cross face? Look at your fleece! And today of all days! You old devil! ranted Granny Island when they eventually got Alicina out of the boggy lock. We'll never get these peaty stains out in time for the show. Grandma Mayland has some stuff to make her hair silvery white, said Katie Morag thoughtfully. Well, everyone looked in amazement as Granny Island's old tractor and trailer hurtled past the show field heading for the post office. We'll be too late, grumbled Granny Island. But what's going on here? Lots of pets. I can see a goat there. And there are some teas being sold. Can we see Granny Island? Oh look, there she is in her tractor. Okay, you can see Katie Morag's red hair in the trailer behind. Fortunately, no one was about when they got home, since Mrs. McCall would certainly not have approved of this. <gasps> Look at Alicina, she's in the bath. Or this. Look at the state of that towel. I don't think Mrs. McCall will be pleased. And Grandma Mainland would have been furious at this. Look what they're doing. 
They're using Grandma Mainland's hair curlers and hair dryer and even her hairbrush to make the sheep Alicina look beautiful. Not to mention this. It's pretty new out in Granny Island. They're dressing up in Grandma Mainland's clothes. Goodness me. But all ended well. They managed to get tidied up and back to the show field just in time for the judging. And at the sight of Alicina's shiny coat and curls, the judges were in no doubt as to who should win the silver trophy again this year. Oh, look, can you see in first place? Whose name are they writing? She does look very lovely, having had her fleece dyed with Grandma Mainland's hair dye, doesn't she? That evening, there was a party at Granny Island's to celebrate. My, but then old you is still some beauty for her age, said Naily Beg. Just like yourself, Grandma Mainland. How do you do it? Oh, look, there's Grandma Mainland talking to Neely Bake there. Ah, oh, that's my secret, said wee Grandma Mainland, fluttering her eyelashes. Katie Morag and Granny Island smiled at each other. They knew some of the secret, but would never tell. And Granny Island never frowned at Grandma Mainland's fancy ways ever again. I wonder why. And that is the end of that story. You just saw, I just gave you a sneak peek at the next story, which was called Katie Morag and Tiresome Ted. Maybe you could see if you could find that book in the library and read it to yourself. See you tomorrow.